Se rompió, oh, rompió. Tiene hermanos, pero hermanos. Hermana. ¿Cuántos años tiene su hermana? Tres. Está viejo. Vamos a hacer Amigo. El, el calendario esta noche. Amigo. Por el toque, si toca su nombre, para mañana te llamo. Muy bien. Toca mi nombre. Ok, muy bien. Now, pone este dedo en mi nariz. No. Uh, she says, she says, she wants to know so, what kind of thing feeling for us if his radial head is in the joint or not. So, so what, what is, what is happening with this little boy in his arm? This little guy um, fell uh, when he was horsing around and had a, uh, what we call a both bone forearm fracture. So both of the bones in his forearm are broken, mm -hmm. or were broken. Now they healed, and they healed in a, what we call a malunited position. Mm -hmm. The problem is, you can see this when you look at it from the side. Mm -hmm. Okay, you get a little bit of a bow there, get a little bit of a bow there. Mm -hmm. And he can move normally in what we call flexion and extension, but he can't supinate, he can't pronate. What's that mean, supinate? That means he can't turn his hand palm up, he can't turn his hand palm down. I see. So he has limited movement. Right. So he can move like this, but he can't turn his hand to pick something up. I see. He can't turn his hand palm up to hold a cup of soup. I see. Like supination. That's I not see. where it's from, but that's how I remembered it. Oh, this thing. Okay, su numero. Okay. Okay, close enough for me. 34. Muy bien. So this thing is normal. I see. And you can watch, you can see how his hand turns palm up and palm down without any problem on this side. Mm -hmm. And pronation, supination is important. Which hand, ¿qué uh, mano usa más? Derecho. Derecho? Okay. So he's right handed. Okay. ¿Qué es esto? Izquierdo? Izquierdo. Muy bien. Get smarter, mate. Um, so what we're probably going to have to do, Dr. Tyner, is mi amigo. Pero probablemente tenemos que cortar el hueso, ¿ok? Um, cara. Y cuando está derecho, tenemos que poner placa y tornillo. Y cuando, uh, cuando pacientes está este joven, usualmente no queremos usar metal si no es necesario, pero con este es muy importante que ponemos los huesos en la posición correcta so puede mover inmediatamente ok so es posible que en el futuro tenemos que quitarle uh, the bed, the okay. so I'm, I'm just saying that we're going to have to fix after we cut the bone to get it the shape right we'll have to fix it in place with plate and screws. We can't just leave it in the cast because it will tend to go back to this position. Um, and he's so young that we're most likely at some point going to have to take the hardware out. But that could be done in a year on our return trip. Pretty I see. So this year we could start and do the first phase of the treatment, Sure. basically. And then he matures, we let the hardware uh, do his job until he's healed, and then he goes about his life as a normal little kid and in a year. Hopefully we can still easily get to the hardware and take it out. I see. Put it away. What do you mean? 